welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Zero. When last we left off, we had, well, gone on on a little exploration this way as Billy, but now we're playing as Rebecca. Because both are needed for this section, did I pick up the shotgun? I did in fact pick up a shotgun, I did also pick up that, I'll just leave it here. Because this is my second safe room, as there's also a typewriter in here. Why are there two typewriters basically next to each other, well they are next to each other, I will never know. But I don't care because there's two typewriters, twice for saving. Lovely empty hallway, wait, uh, is this the fire, yep, fire motif room. Is it? Yep, locked. Fire motif. Okay, let's just open that. And in we go. And in here is Billy. Hey there, Billy. So, what we are to do is just change this Billy. Because I'm just running him into the wall. Now, is there anything in these. Thing, bookshelves. The books, but bookshelves contain a wide selection of books. There doesn't seem to be anything of interest. But yes, what we have to do is no. Come on. There we go. Billy is to go here. Rebecca is to go here. And Billy is to. The, it's a winch control for a lift. There's a square-shaped hole in the panel. It. It's a. Oh yeah, it's a square. -shaped. I didn't pick up the crank, did I? No, I did not pick up the crank. Give me a sec, Rebecca. I forgot to pick up the crank. That was stupid of me. That was very stupid of me. I forgot the item I needed. Rebecca will just stay there then. Clap, clap, clap to me is all I have to say. Clap, clap, clap to me. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> I guess that's what I get for playing this game basically blind. There's nothing here, isn't there? Nope. Yeah, the only, as not it, the only real actual experience I got of this was the, uh, was the Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles uh, light gun game, which I don't have, I, if I can recall, I don't have fond memories of. I don't think it was very good. I could be entirely wrong, it's been a while since I played that lock from the other side. Maybe it's this way. In this not Spencer Mansion area. It's definitely not met Spencer Mansion. Nothing like it, shut up. There's the door. Jesus Christ, my computer's trying to kill itself. Oh, I have a cool. There it is, what I want. Pretty sure. Yes, there we go. The crank handle. And... Resident Evil 2 reference, ah! That was fun. But back we go to... Rebecca, so we can, well, force her upstairs. But we have to go there so we don't die. And dying, sh well, not dying, sure sounds fun. Going into here. But yeah, their silence is sort of creepy, especially when you're constantly with a partner, because in all the other Resident Evil games, all the partners you have, unless it's Resident Evil 5, where you have a constant, oh, partner constantly, I should give Rebecca these shotgun shells, that may be useful. No. Exchange, shotgun shell, no, ah, uh, damn it. There we go. 
Yeah, in all the other Resident Evil games, you only have a partner for like a small section of the game. So the silence between them two, well, it's sort of less unnerving than these two characters constantly being together and not saying a word for a majority of it. I'm pretty sure they talk more in the Amazing Book Zero Hour, which, as a note, it's a well, it's a video game novel, but die. Ah. Uh, also, more Resident Evil Zero giant bugs and all oh, those things are so creepy. Look at them. The tails are so large. It's there. Die. Die. No. Oh crap! That's a waste of a shotgun shell. You goit! Oh my god! It's taken more than. Die. You wasted goddamn three shells on you. I wasted three, no, four shells in fact, yeah. What a waste of ammo. Oh, that's really annoying me now. But, what well, annoyed me. Annoyed, not annoying. Anyway. So, yeah. Uh, those things. But, yes, in a... Yeah, if you, if you didn't know, there's actually a book for every single game par... I'm pretty sure four and five. And six. It's also... Okay, turn around, go in here. There we go, that's what I was looking for. I was looking for. Oh, use, combine. That's a nice feature, you combine items when you pick them up. Also leave. But yeah, there's a book for every single Resident Evil game par 4 and 5, and they're not half bad. I've heard people complain a lot about them, but... I've certainly read much worse. Then again, I make a party game out of out of uh, annoying people by reading horrible fan fiction. So what do I know? As a note, I've found some really, really poor like stuff on the internet, from fan fiction to creepy pasta. There's a lot of bad creepy pastas. Watch bad creepy pasta, by the way. It's a good show. In here, there is some items, horrible things as well. Oh, get off me! No, 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 no! You creepy goits! Take another step, I dare you. Oh. Cheeky. Oh, I'm only on caution. But yeah, those things. Ooh, more shotgun shells. But there's also items. A grenade launcher. And... What, another item. But what I'm going to be doing is... Well, I'm going to be coming back to pick all those up, because there's going to... Well, who's looking forward to bosses? Another boss. In the span of maybe, an, like, an hour since the last one. Yeah, it's Resident Evil. Can't really say much about it. Open the door. To come out to the main hall, if I'm correct. I am correct. Billy, come on. Turn around, my chum. And we are going to leave to a magical place. Of... The upstairs. But well, we're still on the upstairs of another area of this training facility. I want you respawned. I don't know how to feel about that. I feel like oh no, ah, oh. ah, oh, goddamn! I'm playing far too much of the other Resident Evil games where you can actually dodge the enemies. I'm gonna have to kill you, aren't I? I'm gonna have to kill you. So I don't like respawning enemies. But this, well, this game does compensate with giving you a bit more ammo, if I'm correct. I'm sure from what I've heard it gives you more ammo than the other ones. A lot like uh, Code Veronica, that gives you a lot more because it's a bit more of an action oriented game. Hell, any game other than uh, one uh, and one remake is a lot, is slightly more action oriented. Resident Evil 2 especially. I've never played 3, but I've seen tip bits of it, so. I've got a pretty decent idea on that one. Hell, I've seen an entire playthrough of 3 like Yeah, I've seen like two entire playthroughs. And uh, I will be leaving that. Rebecca, come here, will you? Come hither and give me your shotgun. And we're gonna go give Billy the bazooka as well, or the grenade launcher, whichever it's called in this game. Let's swap over. Exchange. 
nothing. Exchange with that. Combine that with that. Exchange with that. Oh, and equip you with the your handgun. As I don't know if I said this before, but Rebecca's handgun is slightly worse than Billy's because his is a military one and hers is a police one. Don't know if that actually makes any. If that is actually how it works, or we just get the same pistol. Then again, that's uh, they are stars. Let's regroup. They get well. Let's regroup. I'm Billy, cool guy Cohen. I'm not gonna let him. Okay. He's not a bad character, but he does seem like one of those guys that try- I mean, he is in the military, so he is a sort of cool guy, but he seems like, like Wesker trying to- well, no, not Wesker trying to be cool. Wesker wears glasses indoors. Uh, sunglasses indoors. He just seems like he's trying too hard to be cool. He probably didn't have many friends when he was growing up. Then again, he did also murder 26 people, so... I don't think many people are going to be messing with him anytime soon. The white statue, yes I will. Open now. And it's time for another partner puzzle. We all love our partner puzzles, don't we? If you don't, you suck for not liking partner puzzles. But what we're going to be doing is grabbing ourselves a key. Surprisingly, in a Resident Evil game. Who would have guessed that you'd get a key in a Resident Evil game? In here is a crank. It's a machine for winding the chain. To start the machine? Yes. That lifts that up. Now, if we were to move it all, Billy would let go of a chain, which would drop that cage we just, well, picked up. So it's not good to be moving Billy at this point, especially if Rebecca's underneath there, because Rebecca will die. So we're going to crouch down and pick ourselves the facility key. And then, look, more giant bugs for centipede this time. Also, ah, oh, god damn, it's so creepy. Oh, I'm so sorry, Rebecca. This must suck. Ah, oh, Billy. Rebecca. Okay, you... Hey there, you! Ah, Billy. Ow! So yeah, this just runs on a pattern. Billy. Use that up, use shotgun. Ah. Come on, uh, damn it, stop hurting me! Combine. Also, that thing will be hurting Rebecca every now and then. Although, in the one time I fought this thing, it hasn't killed her. Like, I don't think it's ever done a mass amount of damage, and it's dead. Rebecca! Are you alright? Yes. Don't know why I changed. Yep, she's still on caution. And there we go. That's that thing done. Let's examine this key. It's the fire key. Now that sounds a lot cooler than like heart or sword. No, the sword key also sounds cool. Uh, exchange that with that. Change back to Billy. And go down to, well, back to the main hall, where I don't know if we're dropping off Rebecca at this point. I think we might move about of her a little bit now. Should I be using a shotgun now? Ah, uh, no, I shouldn't be using a shotgun. And Rebecca shouldn't fire unless we fire, so that, that's a pretty decent thing. Yeah, we're using a shotgun, yeah. I, I'd like to keep that ammo and all that stuff on me. Always good to keep a shotgun on, well, at least... Somewhere accessible. 
but don't use it too much because it's a shotgun in a Resident Evil game. You are always going to be a shotgun in a Resident Evil game. Exchange that for fire key. That for nothing. Oh, God. Also problem, I am massively OCD when it comes to uh, inventory. I like, like having the weapon with any ammo next to it. Or at least underneath it. Let's leave this. Can't leave it here. Why can't I leave it here? Oh, it's an honor space, okay. But yeah, change back to Billy. Oh, yeah, and exchange that, like put 15 bullets there. Have a reload on you, Rebecca. We're gonna need it. How much time do we have left? Ah, still have quite a bit. I can still keep going on. Not missing out on anything. Well, yeah, no, I don't do anything in my spare time except Provides for upcoming tests, which are becoming very stressful, folks. God damn it, tests. But yes, that is not a thing for this video. This video is Resident Evil Zero, part three or four. I think it's part four. Three, yes, yeah, part four. Is it? I can't tell. I'm. I'm. God damn it. Anyway, it's empty. Thank God it's empty. Move into here. You used a fire key. Also, fire key. That name. It's the name. I have to say it's the name. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is pushing this thing because Rebecca cannot push this uh, wooden... Well, this wooden thing, basically. Because she has weak baby arms. But don't allow her to push things. Anything. Not, this is, she can't even push, uh, I don't know, a baby, why not? Why, why would you be pushing a baby, you monster? Turn on this light switch. There's a switch here. Flip it, yes. And that changed to be, well, the background painting. <laughs> because, as I've said in my previous Resident Evil game, uh, Resident Evil... 1LP, this is just a JPEG, basically, which is really cool to think about. Seems to be something here. The Iron Needle. Here's a note. Assistant Direct... I don't know what voice I do. It's a... That's a Assistant Director's Diary. September 2nd. As a useless bunch of trainees, as always, what have your headquarters find these idiots? We did get a couple of decent ones though, so I can't complain I guess. William and Albert, they might have a future. September 25th. Scholar Will of Practical Al. They really are opposites. They really are opposites. And they're always competitive in everything they do. There's something ruthless and cruel about them both. October 7th. Got a sudden call from the di director. It was to tell me to encourage a rivalry between the two. It's the first time since the training facility was built that Dr. Mark, Director Marcus has ever shown interest in anything other than his research. Oh, well, whatever. All his orders. I'm going to have them tearing on each other's throats. Huh. So that's quite old, considering that's when William Albert first joined the headquarters. Unless they joined them quite recently. Which wouldn't make much sense, because isn't, like, uh, uh, William Birkin, for Resident Evil 2, by the way, it's when he's... Well, his first cameo, like, in, like, when the games are released. But, isn't he, like, head scientist there? Because he must have moved far, far up in the ranks, because by Resident Evil 2, it's been, like, I don't know, a week since uh, the events of this. Uh, I don't know, the Resident Evil timeline is a very strange one. What other things need a fire key now? I don't know. Some other things do need a fire key. In fact, one thing I should do is have a quick check, see if I can do this. Because I'm presuming this here is a puzzle. Change Rebecca, who has that. There's something written on the base. When good and evil are brought into balance, a new path will be opened before you. So, use that. So do I need to get the uh, black statue and use that? Maybe. 
I don't know. Oh, I know what else needs to fire key. I know what else needs to fire key. I'll check it out. Rebecca, okay. check. Yep, I'll check it out. Because of this section, uh, it involves quite a few zombies, and well, not quite a few, but the AI isn't as good at dodging as let what a player is, and I'm not good at dodging, so that's saying something. Free and in out. Ah, crap! Move too slow. As I said, not good at dodging. Oh no, I'm. Oh, you, goit! That did not go as well as planned. I didn't expect there to be three. I thought there was only two in here. That proved me wrong. How much health am I on? I'm on orange caution. I, I still have these anyway, so I can just drop the shotgun shells as well. Oh, damn it. I don't want to have to use more healing items. I don't like using healing items, but I guess I'll have to. Nope. I want to pick up shotgun shells, yes. So I can then drop the shotgun shells. Oh, uh, that did not go as planned. But now I've learned. Oh, I've already got, oh, I've already got two full healing items after this. So, okay, that's not as. I thought I will be taking a Molotov cocktail because I know what comes up later. But yes, I'll be using that first aid spray, and I'll be leaving this, and then I'm gonna go kill myself some more zombies, I guess. It's a lot of zombies. One, two. I did not kill that one. No, I did not. Oh, it's not dead yet. Now come a little closer, Mr. Zombie. Okay, now we're all close together. Burn, baby, burn. That's all those, dead. And that's not a massive use of ammo. I did use a Molotov cocktail though. But I'm sure those will be coming a bit quicker. If I recall, I found quite a few. Quite a bit. Uh, last playthrough. Oh, I don't need a key anymore. For, uh, yeah, sure. If that's all I need for the fire key. But I guess the next place I'll be going is to get that black uh, statue. Where have I got it from? Okay, this seems very evil. I will take the empty bottle. And then here is lighter fu fluid. Well, Billy has a lighter, doesn't he? I'm pretty sure he does. Yeah, he has a lighter. It's a refrigerator. The door is working and refuses to open. Uh, half the, half the uh, refrigerator is filled with, em with empty boxes. Uh, with half filled boxes saying spaghetti. The other half is an empty bag of chips. Uh, these utensils appear to be well used. Why would you take note of that, Billy? Guess got lighter fluid. Huh. It's a lot more useless than I thought it'd be. No zombies in here. Nothing to impede Billy Slick Hair Clark Cohen. I'm gonna think of as many cheesy names to call him. Because, god damn it, he seems like he's trying too hard to be cool. I have to mock him for that. Because I'm a goit. In this area, there is, if I remember correctly. Is this area I'm thinking of? No, it's not. Oh, crap. That was far too close. Stack of, yep. The 
Black Statue. Now, I'm presuming I have to find the head and arms of those things because, well, it doesn't have a head and arms. And I have used, oh, I got that. Um, yeah, I'm presuming you can, uh, you're supposed to have another wing, uh, arms and a head, and with the statue, you have to get both the wings, the arms, and the head. Oh, wait a sec. But. Ah, oh, I cannot carry this item right now, okay. Just full stop, can carry it. That's a bit annoying. But if I change to Rebecca, and. Should I pick up the shotgun for this next area? Yeah, I'll pick up a shotgun for this next area. Because this next area is going to be quite a few zombies, if I remember correctly. No. How would I use a grenade launcher? I will take the shotgun. And I will take the shotgun shells. What's in my inventory as well? Huh. I'm needing all this. In fact, no, I won't be needing that. Leave, yes. Go upstairs. Go across this way. And, well, go to where Billy is, basically. Where the hell is Billy? Oh, God, I've lost my sense of direction. It's downstairs, I remember. I'm not as used to this area as I am the mansion or the police headquarters from Resident Evil 2. I am very much unfamiliar with this area. Even at that, I still should have remembered I went this way. Are there going to be zombies here, though? Are they going to respawn? Respawn, whatever it is. No. Okay, this area is clear. Just clear. Thank God. Because, what well, zombies respawn in this game, apparently. Oh, why do zombies respawn? I like to think, unless, uh, until I'm at the second half, which is when the... You know, the next big enemy appears. For instance, Resident Evil 1 has the Hunters. Resident Evil 2 has the Lit. Oh, just sort of follow me. Billy. Okay. <laughs> he said that so. Follow me, okay. Whatever you want, Princess. No, I meant to change characters. I think I'll leave this here. Leave this here. Leave this here. Pick up gas tank. Combine that with that. Leave. Leave. Exchange there. Exchange there. Oh. It really annoys me I have to have the shotgun on the sort of a top bit of the inventory. Because I'd like to have it on the, well, I'd have to do a pistol, the ammo, then the shotgun, then anything underneath that. But that's me. Now, the shotgun is here for, in case this goes to hell. Because this can go to hell quite easily. For instance, zombie boys is there. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Run, run, run. Rebecca, this way. Okay. Next bit. Take as many of these goits out in one hit. One down. Crap, crap, crap. No, no, no. Back, back, back. Okay, you. Would you like to meet Mr. Shotty? You would. I hope you had a nice acquaintance with him. Now this is the other reason I want to go here. I'm going to have Rebecca carry all this stuff back. I'll have them both carry it back. In fact, yeah, I still need to pick up items, don't I, so... I'll place Rebecca for this little run back. Then I'll turn around and, well, come back again. Climb down the ladder, yes. Oh, video should be ending soon, so... Next time, folks. Next time, I will be going back to that area. 
Till then, folks. Until then. See ya.